Recently, in the year 2020, a man named Scott came forward with some potential Sasquatch evidence along with his encounter information that happened in Bailey, Colorado. The encounter actually occurred in August of 2017 on 11 acres of property he was planning on building a permanent residence on. Scott and his wife lived on and off the property for two years. The modular home was on a foundation of cinder block that was three and a half feet above the ground. There were a few handheld cameras around the house ready for action since mule deer, elk, and bear were commonly seen around the property. During the night in August of 2017, Scott caught something moving outside of his living room window, as well as catching a harsh odor. The following is quoted from a post from Scott of what happened that night. I saw the top of the head and that caught my attention. It moved closer and I seen its eyes were freaking huge and it scared me because bear eyes aren't that large or far apart. I always have a camera handy to get a good shot of the elk that come extremely close to the house. When I realized it wasn't a bear, fear struck me hardcore. I used a cheap Kodiak Sport digital camera for taking pics and for the most part it takes fast action pictures slash video. It was on the end table next to my recliner approximately six feet from the window. When I pointed it at the window it stopped swaying and closed its eyes as if it were a child. What Scott said next is he was shaking and trying to video at the same time and he moved back a step and it slowly moved from one side of the window to the other. Very interesting account so far. I can imagine being just a few feet, six feet from the window. Uh, you're right at this thing looking in on you. And the foundation, three and a half feet above the ground, uh, you know, above the dirt outside, plus the window height being possibly chest height. I mean, that puts this creature this being at possibly around eight and a half feet, maybe nine feet even at the top of its head. Must have been massive sight to see this thing. And apparently Scott was filming and taking video at the same time, or maybe shuffling back and forth. He doesn't really get into that, but anyways. Scott continues explaining this night of the encounter with about eight minutes in, his wife came into the room and asked what he was doing. He told her there's something outside and it ain't no bear. When she looked over his shoulder, she screamed and he ran back to the bedroom, stopping the video, getting the 40 caliber out of the closet shelf. When Scott turned around, the creature was also turned around, walking away from the window. Apparently, Scott's wife also called the sheriff department and they sent out three deputies. When they got to the house and Scott was explaining to them what occurred, they concluded it was probably a bear. However, when Scott showed them the video, two of the three deputies were actually convinced and the third one still said it was a bear. Huh. 